the topic of counterterrorism and human rights uh, in my book is uh, uh, how to combat terrorism without um, violating uh, privacy and uh, civil liberties uh, is a very central question and it's a good thing that so many people look at it and so many people who have um, some of the more fears of terrorism and others more the fear of, um, of police state. So it's good to confront uh, all these views and, and try to get something out of it. So uh, the idea is uh, very central, very topical, very timely and it's a good thing. What I'm getting out of this is, uh, first of all, contacts. That's a normal thing for journalists. Uh, you get little sentences, contacts, and uh, you see points of view which you could not necessarily imagine. You see uh, the Afghans saying something you didn't expect, or the Bahraini saying something you didn't expect. So uh, this widens uh, the horizon of your expectations and it eliminates a lot of stereotypes or at the very worst it adds more stereotypes so it balances everything out so that's a very positive thing. As a journalist obviously we would like to see some sort of uh, piece of news come out of it like uh, uh, you know a declaration or uh, I don't know what some president arrives and says this is great or something spectacular or something historical uh, I think we're moving in that direction over here um, that's what we like from a sort of um, citizen's perspective. Uh, what can come out of this is uh, a sort of doctrine on how to reconcile uh, human rights and um, the uh, counterterrorism uh, effort. And one of the things that's necessary and that's being discussed here is what kind of terrorism is this exactly? And what do traditional human rights do about it? And there is this idea that traditional human rights are not adequate to face the terrorist threat. So the good thing to come out of this would be a, some sort of new doctrine. Okay, we can go a little further here and watch out there. Th that sort of new definition uh, that would be shared by more countries would be helpful for the world. So I think uh, it's a very good idea to do this and bring in all these delegations and to allow people uh, like me, who uh, sometimes uh, live a little bit too much in the uh, Parisian cocoon, uh, to get out and see uh, other worlds, other uh, systems, other groups of people uh, who are rather similar to us, but we don't see that often. So it's a very good thing to, uh, to uh, expand our horizon, and, and that's what has been done very clearly. Mm -hmm.